the value of getting underneath everyone else and then charging them for it later on. So uh, Microsoft, one of the very first mega companies who made a tremendous amount of money by in the electronic world, how did they make all that money? Where their money came from and still comes from, the vast, vast majority of it is that every PC that goes out the door has Windows on it. And you may or may not pay for that. That may or may not show up in the list price of the laptop that you buy or the desktop that you buy. But it's in there, all right. And it's uh, it's not a small amount of money. I don't know what it is exactly, but I think it's maybe, you know, between ten and fifty dollars per PC to put Windows on there. And so, Microsoft has a guaranteed income stream. And notice the nice thing about this: if it's made by Dell, if it's made by Gateway, if it's made by HP, if it's made by Toshiba, doesn't matter who's selling PCs any PC that ships is going to have Windows on it and Microsoft gets a cha-ching from that right and now not only is it, it not only is it Windows but often and maybe even usually it's Microsoft Office which is another cha-ching for Microsoft every time a PC goes out the door so Microsoft has managed to get underneath everybody else in the in the PC side at least of the computer business and every time they sell a PC they're selling Microsoft as well very, very nice for Microsoft. Very nice idea. Great way to make money. It's a cash cow. It just spins off money in an incredible amount. And as the PC business grows and more and more people buy computers, Microsoft just rides on that wave up and up and up, making more and more money. Now, Facebook is trying to do something very similar. Facebook wants to be the single sign-on on the web. What does that mean? That means anytime you go to a site and you have to enter a username and a password, you use your Facebook username and password. And so right now, there's no charge for that. But what do you want to bet that as time goes on, they're going to find a way to monetize that. They're going to find a way to say, well, look at all the services we're providing you. You know, System X, you know, uh, Doodle now. If you want to sign on to Doodle, Doodle is a scheduling, a scheduling site. If you want to sign on to Doodle, you can use your Facebook password. How much is that worth to Doodle? Well, right now, they're not paying anything for it. But say five, ten years down the road where everybody's signing on via their Facebook account, and if you can't use your Facebook account, you're not going to go to Doodle, you'll go to their competitors. Now it's worth something to them and all of a sudden it's going to start to, co to cost money. Now I don't know that for sure, but that's what I would do if I was Facebook. I'd get underneath everybody else, I'd make sure everybody's depending on my services, and I'd give that away at first, just the same way they gave away um, social networking without ads at first. And then later on I'd start to bring in the revenue model once I was sure that I had the market, once I was sure that people weren't going to leave when I started charging money.